Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I'm going to showcase in a short video how we can connect to a Docker container from the terminal. And I have often done this in most of my previous videos, but I think it might have been always clear what exactly we are doing. So in this case, I have a very, very simple example of a Docker container setup with a Docker file, which is from a simple Alpine, which is more Linux base image, building a container. We're gonna install bash and nano just to showcase some examples of how we can actually connect and interact with this container. We're doing a working directory slash app. I'm then copying a simple text file, just saying hello world into my container. And I'm then running a command to actually keep the container running because it would stop running if there's nothing happening. Let's then from this current position of our Docker file. As we can see here, we're in the repository of our Docker file. We will then simply do docker build, and I'm just gonna call it small, very creative naming, and we're gonna allow it to build. It should take a few seconds. I can then do docker images to see our docker images, and I will then simply do docker, docker run, and I'm gonna run it in dormant mode, so in the background, so it's not gonna take up my terminal, and I'm gonna run my small image. If we then do docker ps, we can see our running container of five seconds ago. To then actually connect to container, meaning we would like a terminal connection to the container, we would do docker exec to then execute something inside the container. We then do dash it. I makes interaction or makes the connection interactive to keep it keep it open, and t creates a, a pseudo terminal which allow us to actually interact with the output from whatever we execute inside a container here in our current local, local terminal. So docker execute dash it for an interactive container. I would copy the ID of my container. I will then call slash bin slash bash, which simply just calls this function or execution or whatever you want to call it inside the container, which then in the container starts a terminal. This terminal is then sent back to us because of the IT. And as we see here, we then have a connection to the container. So now we're inside the container. We can see here we have our example.txt file and we can cut it to showcase we have the example.txt file content. So then make it very clear what I wanted to showcase is let's say now we are outside once again the container instead of executing slash bin slash bash, we can execute anything inside the container. And as long as you keep the IT, then the like output of whatever we execute will happen here in our current local terminal. So for example, if I called nano, which is just like a, a notepad for Linux terminals. So nano slash app slash example dot text, we should then see that we are kind of nanoing our text file and we then get this connection in our local terminal so we are able to execute or manipulate the text file inside our container so let's just add a bunch of exclamation marks save it if we then once again execute to bin bash then we're back inside our container now and we can once again just cut our example text file and we see we now have updated hello world with a bunch of extra exclamation marks so I definitely think it's very important. Now well, we're still inside, so let's exit. So I hope it hope this helped get a better understanding of actually what we're doing with this execute command. So Docker, the Docker sec, execute, we can execute bin bash, and that's IT to ensure that our return of this bin bash execution inside the container allow us to actually get the terminal connection. But that is just what I wanted to showcase here in a short video of how we can interact with Docker containers from a terminal, create a local terminal connection, or in theory, we could just execute anything we want. And we could also, without the IT, execute anything that just executes in the container without actually getting the output here in our local terminal. But if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.